Welcome back to another 545. I am Gene Shirakabad. And I'm Ryan Smith. Last week, catch you guys up. Last week, we started the segment to mm. essentially talk for five minutes to set you up for the week. Last week, we talked about community. We talked about pain. Pain. The inev- inevitability. The inevitability of pain. Mm-hmm. You phrased it well. All right, let's get five minutes on the clock. Five minutes and kick it off. So I'm gonna start us off with, uh, referred to as health awareness. Um, in regards to, we've all been told we need to exercise more, eat better, get more sleep, don't worry about stress, yeah, yeah. Like there's probably a thousand things you've been told by a thousand different medical practitioners and health blogs and etc. The hard part, I think, is taking an actual step forward. Now, that doesn't mean finding the right program or anything, but what I'm referring to is that right step is having more reflection awareness of the things that you try to be curious about or experiment with. You can do that with sleep or with nutrition or with movement, and it doesn't have to be drastic. It can be something as simple as, this week I'm gonna walk for three days for half an hour at a time, and then see how you feel. See how you're reacting to these sorts of things. It can be introducing a new food, taking a food out. It can be changing up your bedtime. Whatever it is, it just requires some awareness and reflection at the end of it in order to see what works best for you. Now, the reason I love the idea of health awareness is because there's so much stuff peddled out to us in terms of diets, programs, for physical fitness, right? For how to get rid of stress, how to sleep, that every product you could ever get And the reason I think most of them fail is because we don't understand ourselves enough. And so we think what works for somebody else is inherently going to work for us. We know that as scientists that it's not true, right? Science, 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 science looks for largely what is the majority going to do well with. And that's why we love science. But then there's always the outliers that those are the ones that we see all the time. And if we don't have a good awareness or reflection of our own selves, of our health and our body, of how it responds to things, we need to learn what that is and learn how things affect us and then change and experiment accordingly. Nice. Mine actually goes along with that um, in terms of the body and the science of things is uh, I want to talk about balance and not the type of balance where you're kind of had few too many and you're a little bit uh, shaky. Now I'm talking about internal balance, otherwise known as homeostasis. Mm. Um, And we come back to this a lot because we get questions on cleanses, challenges, fix this, fix that, like these instant fixes that we think that our body will instantly adhere to. Detoxes. Detoxes. But here's the thing. You can detox all you want, and really the best detox is called a virus. When it goes through you, right, that'll detox you. But our bodies love and need balance, and that is through homeostasis. Our bodies do not like change. It takes months and months of consistent sameness to instill change. That's why it takes four to six weeks of regular exercise to change muscles, grow new fibers, things like that. It takes months of dieting and eating to change your gut bacteria, even though changes happen instantly. But it takes a long time. The the example I use all the time is think about when you get sick, think about a fever, right? A normal body temperature is 98.6. When you have a fever and your body goes up two degrees, you feel like death. And that's just a two degree difference. The body does not like change. So when you throw cleanses, when you throw vitamins, when you throw supplements, when you throw all these things, the body does what it does best and it gets rid of it to maintain homeostasis, to maintain that balance. So the body does not change quickly. And that's a great thing because if the body changed quickly, every time you sit, you'd stand up and you'd have a flat ass. Every time you run into a wall, every time you sneeze or cough or the gravitational pull is on you, you just get crushed. We are so resilient and the body is so capable of so many things because of that homeostatic balance. Just like Mother Earth, hashtag climate change, hashtag two degrees of increase, hashtag, hashtag. 
So, thanks for tuning in to our, another segment of Five for Five. We hope this carries you throughout the week and not only gives you something to listen to, but makes some thought-provoking things pop up on your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday commutes, or wherever you listen to us from. Please give us a shout-out on Facebook, on all other social media concerns. Send us an email, reach out to us on our website, any way you want to get a hold of us. We'd love to hear what you think about health awareness and homeostasis. Homeostasis. And change. Balance. Balance. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. 